हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टुडे इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग परिवर्तन योग इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी सो दिस इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट योग और अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्लैनेट्स एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज परिवर्तन योग इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी टुडे सो इन अ लेमैंस टर्मिनोलॉजी द टर्म परिवर्तन मीन्स अ चेंज ओके इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी परिवर्तन मीन्स एक्सचेंज ओके इट मीन्स एक्सचेंज ऑफ एनर्जीज सो वेन अ प्लैनेट से द प्लैनेट्स नेम इज ए इज प्लेस्ड इन प्लैनेट बीज हाउस एंड प्लैनेट बी इज प्लेस्ड इन प्लैनेट एज हाउस एट द सेम टाइम इट फॉर्म्स परिवर्तन योग इन अदर वर्ड्स लेट अस अज्यूम दैट सैटर्न इज प्लेस्ड इन सन्स हाउस and sun is placed in saturn's house okay so this forms a parivartan yog between saturn and the sun what this means is there is a strong connection or a relation between both planets and the houses they own okay both these planets are extremely comfortable in the houses they occupy okay and they exchange their energies accordingly so during the dasha antar dasha or the transit of shani or surya both these planets come into action okay also the houses owned by both the planets are activated at the same time so if you are undergoing shani dasha even the effect of the sun will come into play okay because they have mutually exchanged their houses now there are three types of parivartan yogs one is called as maha parivartan yog other is called as khala parivartan yog and a third is called as dainya parivartan yog now we will try to understand each type of parivartan yog in detail so one type of parivartan yog is where the planets exchange houses that is say jupiter is placed in mercury's house and mercury is placed in jupiter's house at the same time okay so this forms a rashi parivartan yog that is jupiter is comfortably placed in mercury's house and mercury is also comfortably placed in jupiter's house okay so if you are having jupiter's mahadasha or antar dasha mercury will also get activated okay or if you are having mercury's mahadasha or antar dasha jupiter will also get activated at the same time and he will give the results of the houses he owns as well as the houses owned by mercury so this is called as rashi parivartan yog okay the second type of parivartan yog is called as nakshatra or sushma parivartan yog okay this is when planets are mutually placed in each other's nakshatras that is say sun is placed in a nakshatra owned by saturn and saturn is placed in a nakshatra owned by the sun at the same time okay but this is a less effective parivartan yog as compared to the rashi parivartan yog and there is a third type of parivartan yog which i have not mentioned here it is basically the exchange of houses by karakas okay so that is also a third type of parivartan yog now let us try and understand the three main types of parivartan yogs that is maha parivartan yog khala parivartan yog and dainya parivartan yog okay so now look at this figure so parivartan yog does not mean just exchange of signs it also means the planets are mutually connected okay that is they exchange their energy they exchange their natural nature with each other they also exchange their power okay with each other okay so they act together in conjunction that is both the planets as well as the houses they own are activated at the same time let us try and understand the first type of parivartan yog which is known as maha parivartan yog now if you have seen my previous video on kendras and trikonas you know that in vedic astrology the houses 1 4 7 10 are known as kendras which form the pillars of your horoscope okay and the houses 1 5 9 are called as trikonas they are basically the houses of higher learning okay they are called as dharma houses and the houses labeled 2 and 11 represent wealth and gains right 
सो वेन एवर देर इज एन एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द लॉर्ड्स ऑफ दीज हाउसेस दैट इज वेन एवर द लॉर्ड्स ऑफ द केंद्रा हाउसेस वन फोर सेवन टेन मेक्स एन एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द लॉर्ड ऑफ द त्रिकोणास फाइव एंड नाइन और द लॉर्ड ऑफ लाभस्थानस टू एंड सेवन ओके दैट फॉर्म्स एन ऑस्पिशियस महापरिवर्तन योग इट इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ राजयोग इन वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी नाउ वाई डू दिस योग ऑकर ओके वाई डज दिस योग ऑकर बेसिकली सो इफ इन युअर प्रीवियस लाइफ ओके यू हैव हेल्प सम वन से देर वॉज एन ऑर्फन चाइल्ड ओके नाउ यू नो दैट ऑर्फन्स आर मोस्टली निग्लेक्टेड इन देअर लाइफ राइट सो इफ समबडी एडॉप्ट एन ऑर्फन and he gives him a good education okay he treats him like his own son gives him a home okay in that case what has this person done he has altered that orphan's life completely right he has benefited that orphan in some way okay so he has given a portion of his good energy to that orphan okay and nature rewards him by giving him a mahaparivartan yog in this life okay in an auspicious manner so whenever there is an exchange between the kendra lords and the trikon lords or the kendra lords and the labasthan lords okay it forms a mahaparivartan yog let us try and understand this with a practical example i will show you one kundali and we will try to understand what exactly is this mahaparivartan yog now look at this horoscope which shows mahaparivartan yog okay the ascendant or the first house or the lagna in this horoscope is the sign of gemini okay so this person is born with gemini ascendant now look at his second house the second house has a planet called mangal placed in it okay and the second house owner is chandra or the moon that is the second house is ruled by moon or chandra look at the 11th house shown in the diagram so the 11th house is the sign of aries or mesha and chandra is placed in the 11th house okay the owner of the 11th house is mangal so if you look carefully at the diagram you understand that mangal is placed in chandra's house and chandra is placed in mangal's house okay second house is the house of resources is the house of wealth 11th house is the house of unexpected gains it is the house of friends okay so this forms a mahaparivartan yog because the second lord and the 11th lord have exchanged their houses so when chandra dasha is in force even the effects of mangal will be activated and if mangal dasha is in force the effects of chandra will be activated okay now if you see this diagram carefully mangal is placed in the sign of karka rashi or cancer okay that is he is placed in the second house now in this house generally mangal is debilitated right he is very weak in this house but because of this parivartan yoga okay you can see chandra is very strong okay so chandra gives the support to mangal chandra and mangal are also friends okay so this forms a very auspicious mahaparivartan yoga the native will gain a lot of wealth fame and friends in life now let us try to understand the second type of parivartan yog which is called as khala parivartan yog okay khala generally means wicked okay so khala parivartan yog is formed when the lord of the third house makes an exchange with the lord of the kendra houses that is 1 4 7 10 or the lord of the trikon houses that is 159 or the lord of the second and the 11th house okay so this yog actually brings some kind of wickedness okay but if you look deeply the third house is related to the efforts which we put in our life right so what this means is the person gains after he puts in lot of efforts okay so this yoga becomes auspicious but initially the person has to struggle a lot okay and then he eventually finds success okay so this is the second kind of parivartan yog which is called as khala parivartan yog okay so this yog you will get in your kundli generally if in your past life okay you have helped someone through donations etc okay that is you have helped a blind person by making donations okay looking after 
his eye okay and helping him to regain his vision okay so in that case nature rewards you with the khala parivartan yog that is you have put in some efforts in your previous life to help someone in a nice way okay so nature tells you to put in efforts again and get good results in this life let us now try to understand khala parivartan yog with a practical example so as in the previous case i will now show you a life kundali and we will try to understand what exactly is this khala parivartan yog now look at this kundali carefully again the kundali is of a gemini ascendant okay the third house has mangal placed in it the third house is the sign of leo okay which is owned by the sun or surya okay so the owner of the third house is surya and the third house has mangal placed in it look at the 11th house 11th house is owned by mangal okay the owner is mangal and the 11th house has surya placed in it so now there is an exchange of houses between the third lord and the 11th lord that is between mangal and surya okay now because the third lord has exchanged house with the 11th lord this forms a khala parivartan yog so in this case you can see sun and mangal have exchanged the houses okay now why is there wickedness associated with this yog okay see because the third house is the house of efforts it is also the house of loss of comforts why because it is 12th from the fourth house okay fourth house is about comforts it's about peace of mind and the third house is about hard work it's about effort right so you have to lose your comfort zone or you have to come out of your comfort zone and put in efforts to achieve what you want okay now in this case the exchange was between the third house lord and the 11th house lord if the exchange was between the third house lord and the first house lord also still it would form a khala parivartan yog okay so in khala parivartan yog the exchange has to be done by the third house lord that is the third house lord is mandatory here okay so this is about khala parivartan yog next we will look at what is dainya parivartan yog now dainya means poor okay so this is a bad parivartan yog it is not a auspicious parivartan yog and it gives bad results okay so dainya parivartan yog is formed whenever the lord of an auspicious house such as a kendra or a trikona exchanges the house with the lord of a dushtasthana dushtasthana are the houses 6 8 and 12 right so whenever there is an exchange between a kendra lord and a dushtasthana lord or a trikona lord and a dushtasthana lord okay it forms a dainya parivartan yog okay so in dainya parivartan yog the sixth lord has to exchange the house with an auspicious lord such as a kendra or a trikona lord or the eighth lord has to exchange the house with an auspicious lord such as the kendra or trikona lord or the twelfth lord has to exchange his house with a kendra or a trikona house okay now this parivartan yog gives bad results okay when is this parivartan yog formed if in your previous life you have done bad deeds okay such as snatching away someone's land all right in that case in this life you will ex experience dainya parivartan yog okay because you have altered someone's life miserably okay you have taken away someone's land you have taken away someone's home you have made someone homeless so in this case nature punishes you by giving you the dainya parivartan yog okay so now let us look at this dainya parivartan yog with a practical example this slide just summarizes what is a dainya parivartan yog so exchange of the sixth lord with the lord of first second third fourth fifth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh or twelfth house or the exchange of the eighth house lord with the lord of first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth house or exchange of twelfth house lord with the lord of any of first second third fourth fifth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh house gives dainya parivartan yog in short 
एक्सचेंज ऑफ अ दुष्टस्थाना लॉर्ड विथ एन ऑस्पिशियस लॉर्ड सच एज अ केंद्रा लॉर्ड और अ त्रिकोण लॉर्ड विल गिव यू दैन्य परिवर्तन युग यू अ बिट कन्फ्यूज राइट नाउ बट द एग्जाम्पल इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड विल मेक दिस वेरी क्लियर सो लेट अस लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल नाउ लुक एट दिस कुंडली केयरफुली सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अगेन द कुंडली ऑफ अ जेमिनाय असेंडेंट ओके इन दिस केस द सिक्स्थ हाउस इज द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो और वृश्चिक राशि विच इज ओन्ड बाय मंगल एंड इन द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो और वृश्चिक राशि दैट इज इन द सिक्स हाउस यू हैव अ प्लैनेट शनि प्लेस्ड इन इट ओके शनि इज एन एनिमी ऑफ मंगल नाउ इन दिस कुंडली शनि ओन्स टू हाउसेस द एट्थ हाउस एंड द नाइन्थ हाउस ओके एंड लेट अस से मंगल इज प्लेस्ड इन द नाइन्थ हाउस ओन्ड बाय शनि सो शनि एंड मंगल हैव एक्सचेंज्ड हाउसेस हियर राइट दैट इज शनि इज प्लेस्ड इन मंगल्स हाउस एंड मंगल इज प्लेस्ड इन शनिज हाउस सो दिस इज एन एक्सचेंज बिटवीन अ दुष्टस्थाना लॉर्ड and a trikona lord okay because the 6th house is a dushta sthana and the 9th house is a trikona house right so this forms a dainya parivartan yuga okay that is the native will greatly suffer during shani's mahadasha or mangal's mahadasha the effect of both these malefic planets will be triggered simultaneously during shani dasha or mangal mahadasha now there is a twist to this story okay in this case the 8th house is also owned by shani right 8th house is the house of fluctuations it is the house of sudden unexpected events it is the house of sudden ups and downs it is the house of occult knowledge it is the house of secrets it is the house of buried things so if mangal was placed in the 8th house okay so both shani is placed in the 6th house that is he is placed in a dushtasthana mangal is placed in the 8th house which is also a dushta sthana okay so the 8th house lord is placed in the 6th house and the 6th house lord is placed in the 8th house so this is an exchange between dushta sthana lords okay so in this case it is called as a viparit rajyog that is the exchange between the 6th lord and the 8th lord is a viparit rajyog in this case you will benefit from someone else's loss okay say one of your friends has a lot of property okay and something happens to him so this friend has made a will wherein he transfers the entire property to you okay so this is how you benefit from that friend's loss so this is called as viparit rajyog in vedic astrology that is the exchange between dushtasthana lords gives a viparit rajyog but the exchange between a dushtasthana lord such as the 6th lord and a trikona lord such as the 9th lord 9th house is an auspicious house it is the house of dharma okay so that gives you a dainya parivartan yog which is very bad so i hope now you are clear with the three types of parivartan yogs that is maha parivartan yog khala parivartan yog dainya parivartan yog and additionally we have also seen a viparit rajyog in this kundali okay so guys this was what i wanted to explain to you about parivartan yoga so parivartan yoga is a very strong yoga in vedic astrology wherein the planets are placed in each other's houses okay so they exchange their energies and both the planets are activated at the same time during the mahadasha antardasha or the transit of any planet okay so guys thanks a lot now my contact details are given in the next slide so you can visit my website astroseva.tripod.com or you can download my mobile app on google play store kamat astrology if you want professional consulting you can also subscribe to my youtube channel kamat astrology if you like this video please mark it as liked in youtube for any queries you can email me at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com So thank you guys hope you like this video hope to see you soon